Hello, Team Grimly. So, this was requested a month ago, but all of my family started visiting. And I was meaning to do this for a while, but like, I think at first when All of Vanity came out, my heart was still kind of hurting a bit. And like, after listening to this album for like, basically, it's gonna be a year and like six months, but like, it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's symbolic in a way. And I don't wanna make this video too long, but I just wanted to give like a review slash reaction slash commentary like I did for the side B and Invisible. Um, so I just wanna give you a, like a side by side or like how I think about your songs. I'll play it softly, I hope it's not too loud. Let me see. So the first track is Sublime. And like, let's see, Lord of Islands a little more. All right. The reason why I love Sublime so much is because when she passed away, and like I was, she passed away two days before my before my birthday, I believe, and I was just like distraught and crying a lot. And this song has really helped me feel the joy of Christina again in a way, because like I was like, ooh, a song called Sublime. That sounds like something like uplifting. And then she was like, you hear it, right? It's gonna be sublime. That one. It's so, like, when I used to work for like, I think around like past summer after this album came out and like to like September and October, and I was working, I would play this song every day around 6 a.m. in the morning to go to work, and that would just instantly lift my mood up. Cause I would be like, in the high note, she's like, sublime. <laughs> and I'm just like, Christina, yes, like, I feel that spirit, man, like, this is why I have such a soft spot for Sublime, and right here, wait, the instrumental, Stefan did such a good job, and I talked to him a few times on um, Snapchat, too, right here, wait, right here, ding, 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 it's so, like, kind of, not, it's not 8-bit, but it's like, it reminds me of playing games a lot, and like it just makes you feel like hella, mm, like you like, bam, like I feel lit. <laughs> and like this is why I just love the song. I kind of wish I had the music video treatment too, cause uh, like it's so uplifting. It's why I love the song so much. And like I kind of wish, like I said before, before I got distracted, like it had a video treatment. I feel like the song could have done like fairly, fairly well if promoted by her Republic label i think um it's just a feel-good song i feel like you should send it to hack radios or ac or maybe christian pop like this song is such a joy like i can see it in soundtracks okay and track number two is gonna be steady love okay <laughs> the reason why i love this song so much and i think Okay, I think Steady Love is like one of the top fives of the album because you can really see this in like a movie called like, not maybe not Mulan, but like it gives me that kind of feel like a Mulan feel and kind of like a, a gaming feel, kind of like a movie where like they're like traveling and like -na 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 -na, like that and you're just like tre treading through like snow or something. It's and the bridge, where is that? Her voice gets that angelic head voice that she gets like so proudly loves. Mm. And like, Study Love for me is just that song you can see in any soundtrack. And the next song is Invisible, which we have covered before. Invisible. <laughs> I remember when we first saw previews of Invisible, like, I think of six months to a year prior. I believe she was recording with um, Stefan or Steven, how, however you pronounce it, um, her boyfriend. And I just remember seeing a snippet of it and seeing it come to life is just like, it's pretty crazy how like you can see like her isolated vocals into like a whole production. Okay, um, when I first started this album out, I just love Sublime. I mean, I still have like a great love for Sublime, but over time, these next two tracks have just like caught my attention so bad. I mean, I love them at first also as well, but like, these are like the kind of tracks that just stick with you forever because like, you know, it's relatable, it means something. And like, you can you can see Christina's growth from With Love to All This Vanity with these kind of songs. Wasted on trying to fit in. 
like she has little runs and stuff and like it's just so chill like this is the type of song that doesn't get dated and for a fan that doesn't know, um, that doesn't know what dated is dated is a song like say everyone making Justin Bieber tropical music like over the next year you hear it you're like oh this kind of song's kind of old or like it sounds kind of retro like you have songs like Mar Mariah Carey we belong together songs like when he was in I love you like no matter how far it goes it's just freaking classic this is one of those songs I consider like like it just feels nice mellow it feels good it became one of my top three songs because my top three songs of this it's probably crowded room everybody lies and sublime Sublime is very like on par with I Only Miss You One Every. And like the ending chorus, you just feel her emotions of like, of like, what not what her fresh album should be, but like how you, like, you can tell how she feels like around that time. Like this could play, be played for a high school setting, college, anything like yours alone. Moon, light it a lost through the light. Okay, I also love Everybody Lies because I feel like Christina's in the song so much. Like, you see my smile, like, this is like so genuine to me. I just love her music that much. And I'm so glad her last album is just such on par. It's like a love hate, not all love hate, but it's like a love sad thing. Because I love this album, but it makes me sad because we were seeing her grow as an artist and we'll like never get to see her full potential because she was getting there. Like her lyrics were improving her vocals. She, um, on one of her Yuna videos I watched, I think a year ago or two, she was like, she said she's going through some rut and then she's in like discovering her voice and like re going through voice teachers to like rediscover her voice. And like, I feel like she was just about to hit it with like maybe after like an album or two or, or if she got to record the rest of her music. Like, like she could like, even though like she wasn't big, like in real life on YouTube, everyone knew her and stuff. Like, she was getting there. I feel like she was the type of artist to slowly burn her way through, make her way, and like the voice was like a way to like, solidify her vocal talents. And then like started her starting to tour worldwide and stuff. I feel like she was just on the verge of breaking out. Whether it be success or acclaim, I feel like it would have been a claim for her. It would have been amazing to experience with her, like growing up with her since I was like 13 or 12. I think 11, 11 to 13 when I discovered her. I discovered her, I knew her for like six years already when she passed away. Cause um, I follow her for her Miley Cyrus cover. Then her song Advice helped me get through so much stuff. This one part of the song I love about her. Bending, right here. I remember watching this, I think around the AMAs, I think. I'm just like loving her so much. You're strong, so open. Love, love me. me. Yeah. Fresh air is cute. I guess Fresh Air is like one of that kind of like that throwback song. Um, it's not the song I listen too much, but if it goes on, I still play it. But it's not my favorite song in the album. But I do love the instrumental at the end though. Maybe I is a good song too. It's like, this is like. One of the few moments Christina had like one of those like kind of up tempo with songs in a way because like it reminded me of Shrug like do, 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 do. Shrug or not and like I like Maybe I if I'm like feeling jammy because like Maybe I is like um it's just that song you're just like <laughs> it's just Yeah, but this is like one of those songs where you're just chilling with it and like you're just in the car. Like I say, like Sublime and probably maybe I as a song where I just playing a song. Just like I'm just like mm, driving, like trying to get in a car accident or anything. But like Christina giving me is giving me some spirit right now. Like I want to feel it. <laughs> Echo was cute too. It's like like one of those like pop songs she did. It it reminds me of like the little like um, era in between of this album and like her last album where she's like dropping singles and like finding her sound. Echo, echo. Yeah. Okay, I only wish when I breathe. Probably the, one of the best songs because of like the metaphor. It's like I only miss you when I breathe. Like yo, like I'm breathing all the time. <laughs> I miss you, Christina, in a way. So it's just like, it's just so like nice because I miss her so much sometimes. And like I know I feel better now because I'm healing. I know she's in a better place. But like, 
I guess what I would have loved to see her growth and like this song is just like one of the like top 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 Christina songs where you see her growth. It's like and the production is so nostalgic in a way also. And I think Stefan produces too. Or Steven, Stefan. Um sorry I get this very wrong, but like yeah. This part here. I guess that part too. And like I'm pretty sure they're gonna drop more singles and maybe a few more EPs like along the years, but like this album was so nice to have this year and I know for a fact that I'm gonna keep Crowded Room, Sublime, and Everybody Lies in my life for a long time because those are, those are like to me are just like they're so relatable and so nice and that's I, I messaged um, Sarah on Twitter too I don't want this video to be too long because they're 11 minutes but like um, Sarah was her best friend and she I asked her um, she, was, she never replied but she liked she liked my um, my tweet I was like yo can you like I'm not sure of like what the the bank or how much it costs to hire animators, but if they did it for like Invisible, I was like, can you maybe make this like a visual era? And I'm pretty sure they're not because her channels have been kind of dormant for like I think six months since Sublime's audio was released, and then um, her recent um, um, charity, and um, I feel like I only miss you when I breathe, steady love, crowded room, Sublime, and everybody lies really deserve like not single treatment but like a video treatment of any kind like maybe if like someone that loved Christina or maybe start a GoFundMe to like fund like this project of like making her like music become like a visual in real life so like the way her like her fans that are still here can just watch it and I know she's about to hit 4 million subscribers too and it's a game the game is a good song too I heard the demo and this new version before it's completed because like I said before in the past videos, a reaction you saw me doing music videos, there has been song. This is one song I really adore, and it's called City Lights. And you can see, you can see, also see like a few other demos of her song that she never released, in um her Instagram before she passed, and where she's like harmonizing with herself, having like producers and stuff. But I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the snippet I posted. But like that song, City Lights, has always been special to me. Like I'm not sure if like I hope next EP they release it, but I hope one day, like, they just drop CD Lights. It's not called CD Lights. It could be a different song for all I know, but, like, it's called, like, she says CD Lights in that song, and, like, the production and everything, like, just speaks to me. Like, I hope one day that song comes out, but this is gonna be the end of my review. Let's have a little up. Where is it at? At the same time. I'm gonna pass it? I think I passed it. Right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sweet too. So I'm gonna end the little commentary review there, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Well, I like up right, but I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys still like Christina's music. I hope you guys are here because I I know the family has said that they're not gonna drop any more albums because I don't think there's that much material. I know they have, there's like 30 to 40 songs which would be would be more smarter smarter, bleh, smarter to drop four to six songs every year that way it'll last for like five years and her music continues to live on and I hope then like she keeps or someone just helps promote her music in a way like I really want her to have visuals like I feel like Invisible was great but I feel like they, they could have done more with all this vanity, and maybe I'm just being a needy fan, for all I know, but like, I just really wish that they went a little bit extra for like that, because I you know Christina doesn't make a lot of music videos, which is why, like the whole like, um, what's it called? The Jessica, Jessica Lou? Jessica, oh, that, that with, with like, the arrow of her EP, Side B, or Side A, Side A, Side A, had four videos, was so special to me, because like, Tell My Mama and Advice were like her only music videos, and I'm pretty sure like another one, but like, it's rare, she does videos which I kind of like wish she had like more opportunities with but love you guys Team Grimmy um stay a Team Grimmy fan you know make sure her music is known and like just and even if it doesn't become popular just like know that she made a di like 
difference in people's lives and yours, you guys' lives too, means a lot because she was special in a way because like she's an OG YouTuber. She was a gaming girl that made amazing music, stuck to her Christianity, and just believed in herself and didn't sell herself out. That's why I guess love her so much. And like there's maybe no one else like Athena Grimmy. So this video is already 15 minutes long. I don't want to drag it out anymore. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. Um, I'm sorry for having it so late, but I think at the time I was still healing from her death and other things. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a nice Christmas and New Year's. Isn't that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you.